Hey guys, welcome back to the channel in this episode of Pouring from Coast to Coast. It is Chris, Teneva, and I. And this was the challenge that I laid down for everybody. Um, you've got to do a piece using only four colors. It's got to have some negative space. And it's got to have some kind of texture. So that was it. Now, honestly, I don't know what I was thinking when I laid down this challenge of only four colors because I'm doing this piece and I'm thinking, man, I really want to use this color and this color and this color, but no. So yeah, sometimes Britta just needs to be quiet and think before she puts this stuff out there. But that is the challenge. Um, I really don't have anything else to add to it. Uh, so I'm just going to let you watch and... There will be uh, a couple of clips later that I will explain kind of how I got the results that I did. So sit back, relax. Thanks for being here. You know, we love your viewership. We appreciate it so, so much.
so you're probably wondering where is the texture in this piece? Well, I wanted to try something that a good friend of mine, Casey with CWV Artistry, used in our color art collaboration this past weekend. And I just thought it was really cool. Um, very versatile. Um, <clears throat> so that is what I'm gonna do. So this is Jacquard Net Mesh wrapping paper. And it's really not paper, it's uh, fabric. So you get it on Amazon, that's where I got mine. It comes in different styles and colors. Um, but this is it, it's just a mesh. And I'm gonna take some outside and spray paint it. And I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna put it on my canvas and show you the final results because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna adhese it yet. Um, and I'm in a bit of a time crunch here. So this is actually what I'm gonna be using for my texture. So cross your fingers, guys. Let's hope this turns out. So here it is, guys. So I took the mesh and spray painted it gold but it's fabric and so it just absorbed it and it did not leave it a gold shimmer or sheen or anything nice. <laughs> so color art to the rescue, I took some of my maple leaf bling it from color art and I dissolved it in some varnish and I meticulously brushed the crap out of this thing. And fortunately, it worked. Now, how I got it to stick to the canvas is I sprayed it really hard with some spray varnish, put it where I wanted it, and literally put a book on top of it to um, adhere it. But that is it, and I think it is incredibly cool. Now this palette was a palette that I've used before. I absolutely love it. It never fails, never disappoints me. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out really, really interesting and unique. The um, surrounding color is also Prussian blue. So don't get me on using another color because I didn't. It just dried really dark. So anyway, that's my piece, guys. Whoa, I hope you like it. There's Missy to say hello. Psst. Psst. What are you doing? She's my devil girl. She's really not. She's a sweetheart. I'm just going to get brave now. Woohoo! I hope you like it, guys. Chris is coming up next. Let's go see what wonderfulness she has for us today. You guys have a great weekend. We'll see you soon.